Looks like our heroes are in a whole lot of trouble. Because <laughs> it's a wolf. <laughs> God damn it. D D minus. That's a three, three for Snedrick. Oh, we doing initiative? We're rolling initiative. I'm just rolling. I that, <laughs> that wasn't an initiative. My initiative roll is uh, um. I got a nine. Oh, I got an eighteen. Actually, you know what? My three actually is that was my roll. <laughs> All right. So just to describe the scene here, obviously I described it in the last episode, but this is like a small room. I would say it's like hmm, probably. 25 square feet absolute max it's five feet by five feet <laughs> yeah it's really small it's like a it's like a tiny chamber that you know that that's a morgan by a morgan right yeah, it's a morgan okay. yeah. it's tiny we are all in this closet together how many of us are in the room five of you there's five of us in a five by five room it's very tall six <laughs> maybe. maybe it's 100 square feet maybe it's five meters by five meters we're in a fucking phone booth together doing some kind of <laughs> frat prank or something. It's not phone booth, but it is like supply closet. It's walk-in freezer. Is it, would you say it's 10 by, or 10 by 7? 10 by 7. Excellent. Sure. All right. So the, the room, there's a desk in between you right now. There's a crackling fireplace and lanterns, magical and non, around. <laughs> in a 5 Sorry, by 5 room. That's a very small space. <laughs> We're on fire. We're by a, in a 10 by 7 at this point, really. Is it multiple <laughs> levels? Is it like a three-story room? Does he have bug beds? <laughs> no, it's small. Small. Maybe. Small room. I think, did you mean like 25 feet by 25 uh, feet? Maybe no, like 20, I'm in no, a, I'm in like, like hotel a, room. I'm in like a five by five room right now. Are you? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, you are actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's fine. <laughs> that you can't sleep in there. That's not that's not royal. I could absolutely sleep in here. Nope, you can't lay down. The fact that you're in one, I don't see how that makes it fine. You're more than five feet tall. Because the, the, you all <laughs> reacted to a five by five room. Like I said, you're inside a drop of rainwater. <laughs> five There's of us inside five a five by us. five room. is Five people could fit in this room right now. Crazy. Yeah. With a werewolf. Yeah. And a desk. Can you just admit that you meant to say 625 square foot room? <laughs> That's crazy. That's way too large. Okay. That's way too large. 10, 10 by 10. 10. Max. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll go, we'll compromise on 100 square feet. Okay. But let me, let me clarify. So there's curtains. There are magic wards on the door that closed the branches of the door behind you. Those are magically set so that when he turns into a werewolf, it traps him inside. They trapped you inside with him. And Murloc Holmes, the illithid mind flayer who's With been no hat. showing you around, whose hat you stole yep. behind you. Claw is tied up, is hog tied. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, right. <laughs> Unable to speak because she says silence. No, you can talk now. Okay. Because they cast a different command spell on you <laughs> afterwards. In this game, how do you get out of rope? I have checked. We're going to have you do either an athletics or a dexterity check when it's your turn. Okay. And the werewolf is going to go first. Unsurprisingly, he is going to attack the trussed up chicken first because <laughs> why would you wolf. not? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So he is going to swipe at you with his claws three times. Claw over the desk. Jesus. Okay. He's going over the desk, but claw is like on the ground. Yeah. He's going like rawr. on the ground. It feels like that would be hard to do. Oh, no. He's like diving over the desk at him. Because there's room to do that. Yeah. In this tiny little room. Yeah. <laughs> five by five. <laughs> With a desk. And a fireplace. <laughs> Are we saying it's five by five? Did we land no. on five by no. five? No. No, we didn't. Ten by I'm seven. Just, I'm just remembering what it would have been. <laughs> we ended on ten by ten, damn it. I, I feel justified in my five by five. I'm sitting in a five by five. You guys are crazy. His 
tail would be on fire. <laughs> Next Matreon, we're all going to get in this room. I'm going to light a With cozy a fire. <laughs> I have a desk in here. We're going to find he, a werewolf. He pu- didn't he put a thing of cat shit on the table earlier? He did. There. <laughs> the werewolf definitely dives over the cat shit. He like upends the table, cat shit everywhere. <sighs> That's going to be two hits and a miss. Okay. So he will do... Uh, not not a lot. He's going to do 20 damage to you. That's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> That's half. Pretty considerable amount. That's a lot. That is a, definitely a lot. Yeah, so he dives over the desk and row, 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 three large scratches on Claw. Bridget. I feel like the ropes have been scratched away, though. Uh, <laughs> no? No, I don't think so. That's crap. I'm going to inflict wounds on him. All righty. In character, no less. Do you mean like generally, or is that like a spell? <laughs> uh, nine. Oh, uh, that's not going to do it. Fuck me. <laughs> Bonus action, anything? Oh, yeah, bonus action. I'm going to summon my spiritual weapon. Do it. That's the keg thing, right? That's the keg thing. There's yeah. plenty of room for a keg. Floating keg <laughs> fits right into this room reasonably. And that will hit because that is 25. Oh, nice. shit. How much damage? Not a lot. One second. <laughs> Nine. Nine damage. If we summon enough stuff, like no one will be able to move and then we can just cast spells on him. So... You cast this spell at him, doesn't misses, or you're not, you're, you're so upset at the sight of Claw getting these big chunks torn out of him, but then your magical keg appears and sprays a hearty foam down onto the werewolf. And Fuck yeah. Doesn't like that at all. All right, Dave, you're up next. Okay. I happen to have in my inventory a wooden stake. Ooh. That's not for werewolves. <laughs> yes, it is. That's a thing. No, silver bullets are super. You have a blunderbuss. Do you have silver bullets for your <gasps> blunderbuss? Blunderbuss. It's also the wooden stake. That's canon now. Oh. I'm going to use that, and then I'll do the <sighs> silver bullet thing after that. That's not. It's vampires. Hey. I feel like if we're in a five by five, the blunderbuss is a little bit problematic. No, you're right. <laughs> you're, but we're not. Oh, my yeah. God. All right. Go ahead and make a um, uh, an attack for me. An attack roll. What do I roll? Just a straight up D20, you'll be fine. <laughs> Roll a D20 is what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. That's a one. That's a seven. <laughs> it's a seven <laughs> plus something. I have bonus stuff. Yeah. So you you take this stake and you sink it into his chest right where his heart is. And he looks down and, and he's, he's like, like, it's actually silver bullets. <laughs> rah, 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 rah. What, what am I, a fucking vampire over rah, here? Rah, 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 rah. I live in the woods. <laughs> Does anybody speak werewolf? What did he say? Uh, oh, it was pretty clear what he said. <laughs> he said, what am I, a fucking vampire? If it's dark, I do. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. But it's uh, there's a fire. Yeah, you got to knock out some of these lanterns and then yeah. you'll understand yeah. them. All right. <laughs> Claw, you are up next. All right, I'm going to do my dexterity check to get out of the rope. Roll that d20 for me. 18 plus 7, 25. Oh, yeah. You slither out of the rose ropes. <laughs> Dexterously. Ain't nothing. You are good. Somehow I don't feel better. Because that check was so excellent, I'll say that as you are escaping the ropes, you manage to stand as well, so you don't have to start your next turn prone. And I'm not going to have you take an attack of opportunity. Wait. So, like, everything's an attack of opportunity because we're all fucking... Yep, because you're all fucking (laughs) tight, 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 (laughs) tight 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 in my sound recording studio. Okay. All right, so at the risk of... Another episode of Eli tries to do units of measure. Uh, <laughs> approximately how tall is this werewolf? Oh, that's a good question. 10,000 feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a tiny straw of a room, a tower. He's five square feet tall. <laughs> Six to seven feet tall. All right, all right. So, but this one specifically, right? So that's the general. He's six. He's six feet tall. He's a short werewolf. He's a short short werewolf. Okay. Yeah. This is, honestly, this is more for comic effect than anything else, but. Oh, boy. (laughs) I'm going to cast Enlarge Reduce. All right. Obviously, I'm going to reduce. You can cause a creature or an object that you can see within range to grow larger or smaller for the duration. Choose either a creature or an object that is neither worn nor carried. 
If the target is unwilling, it can make a constitution saving throw. It's going to roll a four. That's my portent for its constitution saving throw. On a success, the spell has no effect. So this is the for the reduction here. All his clothes and shit and weapons shrink along with him. The target size is halved, so he's he's three foot tall. <laughs> I just wanted to help. I, so you know, it, it, Andy Beyond doesn't do that math for Eli. <laughs> so its weight is reduced by to, to one eighth of normal. This reduction decreases its size by one category from medium to small, for example, until the spell ends. The target also has disadvantage on strength checks and strength saving throws. The target's weapons also shrink, but its attacks deal 1d4 less damage, although that can't reduce the damage below one. Fuck yeah. Wow. I feel... <laughs> That's like significantly powerful. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this, it, like the but the visual of us all fighting a tiny little <laughs> werewolf at this point is pretty fucking awesome. Yeah, well, yeah. he's about as tall as me, so I don't know what you're trying to say about. Well, dwarves. yeah, I was gonna say, how tall am I? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to create he's moments here. Side. Now you guys are just kicking the shit out of a dog, so it's not. <laughs> oh, no! I quite have the same vim oh, and vigor. No! <laughs> the nose shrinks for some reason the nose shrinks in and he's a pug <laughs> werewolf no! now oh, no. yeah right suddenly Bridget is a conscientious objector <laughs> to the rest of the fight he has disadvantage on all breathing checks from now on oh, no. <laughs> summon Carl too I will tell you why this is so fucking amazing as well so Briggsy Boy, the patron who created Driggs, this werewolf character, he was like, well, you know, this is based on the fact that the very first interaction I ever had with you guys, I asked Heath to roast my dog, Briggs. And he was super <laughs> harsh. So now you are truly fighting his dog, Briggs. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roast him. I'm going to use Agonaz or Scorcher. <laughs> it's on true. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's perfect. Oh, All right. God. Well, this dog is going to fucking attack you now. <laughs> I think he's going to go for Snedric because Snedric just turned him into a dog from an alpha werewolf. And he's going to go for three claw attacks again. He's going to try and slash you. Very small claws. Very, very they're like kind they're, of adorable. I'll tell you, they're, they're significantly <laughs> smaller claws now than they were. Aww. I want, I want to paint them. All right. Let me roll those d20s. That is going to be... A hit, a hit, and a hit. That's three hits. But reduced by 1d4 on each. Yeah, those those attacks are all going to be reduced by 1d4. It's not very much. That's okay. It could be up to four. That's true. That is very much. One hit point can go a long way. 31 minus eight. It's 23. 23. 23 points of damage. Ouch. Nice to be down to 15. One more hit like that does me in. Yeah. I just want to point out that when this dog what werewolf shrunk down all this way, <laughs> it had a wooden stake in its heart. And that <laughs> that now it's a bigger percentage of anything, its body. Anything that's touching it, its weapons, yeah, its clothing right. goes down with yeah, it. Yeah, it actually does. So now it has a very small splinter in its heart. <laughs> Bridget, you are up. Oh, when oh. you get your stake back, it'll be t no, it'll it'll grow back when it fights. <laughs> Wait, specifically, that spell makes everything that you're touching become smaller too. It says all your clothes, anything that you're wearing, carrying, or any of your weapons. So I I, I have to assume that that's included in. That doesn't seem to describe my weapons. I mean, he's carrying it. He's kind of carrying it. Yeah, he's carrying it. I wouldn't describe anything stabbed into your chest as you're carrying that. No, but you are. <laughs> but carrying you count you count it's, piercings as something. Whether you're or not you were. Oh, that's true. That's yeah. true. Right. So I'm, uh, Claw, how are you doing? How many hit points do you have? 25. I'm going to go ahead and heal Claw. I've only got 15. Yeah, Snedrick better. Oh, shit, Snedrick. I'm going to I'm gonna heal Snedrick first. Sorry about that, Claw. We tied Sorry. your ass up, and now I'm getting in front of you in line for the healing. I'm going to do cure wounds on, yeah, I'm going to do it at second level. So yeah, I guess you just take it. So you're going to get two fucking hit points. Oh, five. There we go. Because I add my spell modifier. There we go. Nice. Yeah. Take five hit points. Will do. And as my bonus action, I might do that again. Because how many more hit points do you need to be back to full health? 18. Yeah. All right. I'm going to cast healing word as a bonus action. And there it is. So take an additional eight points. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah. Feeling good. 
Yes. All right, Dave, you are up. Okay. Um. Does anybody have any silver stuff? No. Nah, <laughs> anybody don't. check your? I don't know. Really Let's quick. check our inventories. That's. I was just looking. I don't think I have silver stuff. Do you guys have silver stuff? No. Nope. Just a dope mustache. <laughs> In your inventory. I. Like a second one. I, I I own it. It's on like it's right. Yeah, I carry it around in my inventory, which is my face. Everybody's using the word carry incorrectly today a lot. <laughs> I'm wearing a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> nope, nothing silver. A spiritual mustache. I was hoping we could, you know, like grind up some silver into some peanut butter or something and trick them. But all right. We have <laughs> nothing with that. Do you have peanut butter? I uh, usually carry around. Yeah, sometimes I I summon I summon bread. It has peanut butter on it or in it. Sometimes aye, aye. I'd like to summon some bread. <laughs> oh right. my god! <laughs> Fuck you. Sure. I feel like sure, this is sure. going to distract. Obviously, oh, I had Jesus. my bread table ready. That's how much I've changed. A small dog. No, yeah, and no, and that'll give him gas. He'll feel he'll be at disadvantage <laughs> if he gets. There's gas. a lot of dis- yeah. Thank you. Yep, this is a really good idea. Yeah, roll a d one hundred for me, Heath. Fifty nine. 59. Almost nice. A bread creation formed in the shape of a fantastical beast, castle, or scene. Like a diorama? Yeah. Like a, yes, a, a bread <laughs> diorama. Yeah. I'd like to, I'm going to pick diorama, obviously. Sure. Um, well, you, <laughs> shoebox. Do you get to decide what it looks like? Yeah, I'm definitely going to let him choose. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking like, um, like a crash, like a manger scene. Can I have that? Ooh. <laughs> Is that going to distract what a werewolf? Odd characters to which God? The power of Christ compels them. Maybe. Yeah, this episode doesn't come out till February, but listener, just so you know, we're recording this on <laughs> December twenty third, so this is a very festive choice. Uh, Jesus wasn't actually born in December, so uh, there you go. Great. So Close, you pull out closer. a manger. Who is this Jesus you're talking about? Christ. Jesus is real. And how do you spell that? Our Lord and Savior in this universe. I've said it several times. Anna. Oh, that's Keep true. Up. You did. Yeah. Never mind. And doesn't Heath have a blessing of Jesus Christ of Nazareth? I do. He does. Is it Jesus or Jesus? Is it? I think it's, I'm in the Jesus camp. I'm in the Jesus camp. All right. Anything else, Dave? I'd like to uh, tempt the... No, the fuck you're w- not. The very small dog werewolf. <laughs> I'm really oh, not. Yeah. Right. With the bread. I'm going to like do like, huh? <laughs> you want to go out? You want some bread? Yeah. I'm going to shake it a little bit. Definitely. All right. Claw, you were up next? No, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you should have to roll for that. <laughs> Can I roll for that? What would it be a roll for? That now, that's a important. deception. Yeah. I'd like to roll for uh, enticing a dog. Roll a persuasion roll for me. I'm feeling. I'm feeling good. Exactly. Yeah, I would be persuading a dog. Yeah, that's a fifteen. No. What was gonna succeed there? Eh, Twenty. <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> I would. I would have given you a werewolf being distracted by a natural twenty. <laughs> All right, Claw, you are up. You are standing. So we've done a lot of shenanigans so far. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we is an overstatement. Heath has done a lot of shenanigans. He did a uh, something for a different mythical creature. Then he created a crash out of bread. We also shrunk him, though. I mean, that's we did shrink him. That was tr- that was true. That was very funny. I'm wondering if I should try and tie him up with the rope because he's so small. A little leash on him, a little muzzle. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm opening it up to the floor. Do we think that that'll succeed? No, because he's a fucking werewolf. I think attacking him would be great right now. You guys are boring. Okay. Just kick the little dog do... in the face. Let's go. <laughs> Somebody has to do it. Yeah, I'll do some unarmed strikes. Let's do this. Yes, thank you, Tank, for doing your fucking job. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, roll those attacks for me. I'm going to do flurry of blows, too. So let's do a key point. So that should be, we said five last time, right? Five unarmed strikes. You're using both your attacks, right? Mm-hmm. But you're only doing one flurry of blows? One flurry of blows. Yeah, two unarmed strikes. So that would be three, four, four attacks if you're doing nothing but unarmed strikes. Okay. 17, 13, 15, and 25. Okay. Hit, miss, hit. Hit. Damn. Claw, you jump to your feet and you wah, 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 wah. You land three solid strikes on this werewolf, but for some reason, it doesn't appear to do any damage at all. Hmm. Ugh. 
So that was bludgeoning, just so everybody knows. That might yeah, be I, sh- I sure wouldn't want to use a bludgeoning spell at this <laughs> point. Okay. <then>. Indestructible <laughs> little werewolf dog is so cute right now. I love All right. this. <laughs> All right, Snedrick, you are up. So, okay, so I'm going to use Agonazer's Scorcher, for which he must make a dis- dexterity saving throw. That's a two. Yeah. Ooh. So, yeah, he's going to take that damage. Jesus. And it's nine. Ugh. Nine damage. That's so much I did to him. Yeah, it's not much. I know. Well, it's it more was- than Claw did anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Bludgeoning bullshit. Too true. All right. The werewolf is up next. Claw, he's going to go for you because even though you didn't hurt him, you did punch him. <laughs> yep. So he's going to attack you with those adorable little paws. With his adorable little claws again. No little beats. Little toe beans. They're a little too toe big for his, a little too big for his body, but he does it anyway. <laughs> Go, he doesn't know that. <laughs> oh, two natural twenties. Jesus. Oh, two fuck. natural twenties. This is going to be amazing because two tiny little paw slaps are going to knock you out <laughs> really bad. They're about to beat the crap out of you. Yeah. <laughs> They're like slithered out of ropes, and I was like, "Oh, a cute dog!" And then it like punched the living shit out of me, and then it beat the shit, out <laughs> and then it beat the crap out of you. I was just a little rabbit. Exactly. All right, so that's gonna be that's three hits, right? Yeah, that's three hits. So that's gonna be four. I think I'm dead. You started off tied up. It's it's understandable. We're I'm okay. picturing like <laughs> a very small pug starting a duel, like slap, 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 <laughs> backhand, forehand, backhand, right across. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Pug foo. All right, 68. Jesus. 68 damage? Yes. Absolutely, uh, yeah. Pug Fu. Well, okay. he's passed out. Well, I might actually be really dead. Ooh. How much is your normal, uh, is, how many hit points do you have? So I have 45 hit points. No, I think, oh, I think it was like right there. I think he was two away. Because <sighs> I have 25 now. Oh, Jesus. And so I have, it would have been 70 total would have killed me off, right? Did you take off the D4? There's three D4 that you have to subtract because oh, it's tiny. Oh, good, good catch. And honestly, it doesn't matter, but yeah. Yeah, but still, still, yeah. damn it. I did it for <laughs> yeah. something. I sacrificed a second level spell slot for that. That's going to be 33 damage, Claw. Okay. So you're still alive? No, I'm dead, but he didn't I didn't fully he's die. He's passed out. He's like an he's, inch away yeah. from being canceled. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's going to do saving throws now. So he is still alive, but not. Okay. Bridget, you are up. Okay. Um, I'm going to inflict wounds again. Do it. Would again be really the right word? Uh, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> I'll be positive. 11. Nope. Fuck. Once again. These dice. <laughs> I hate these dice. All right, bonus action. I'm going to hit him with the fucking spray. Do it. Um, That's magic damage, right? Um, Where is, where's my spiritual weapon? Oh, and so if, because, I, because I did it at second level, I can actually do two of these. That's an eight and a one. So that's nine. Oh, so four, four, because the, the modifier. All right. Dave, you are up. Okay, I want to do a thing where I distract this adorable dog. What I'm going to do is, I have my bread, right? I still have my super cool uh, diorama bread. Sure. Okay. I also have some uh, jerky in my backpack, rations <laughs> area. My, my equipment oh my God. includes jerky. What? So I don't think your rations includes jerky. Why it would literally his rations the word, not? It's it, literally the words including jerky are in the description I'm looking at. <laughs> really? Really? Yeah. So, face. All right. So, you're going to wave your jerky at no, this No, I didn't say wave. No. Oh, okay. Kind Sorry, of, don't yes. Don't, don't make fun of this. I'm good. This is real. <laughs> Take it seriously. Serious. <laughs> Important. Okay. So, I'm taking the bread and I'm taking the jerky and I'm like, I'm going to like lay down on the ground like the dog. You know the way that like if you lay down the right way, a dog wants to play with you and like face push you? You useless <laughs> fucking <laughs> warlock. You're, so you're showing him your belly down? after he killed our fucking friend. I'm going to I'm going to lay down in a way that's very the dog wants to play with me and eat my jerky and and bread that I have right there and like face push. Oh, he'll eat your jerky. Oh, oh he'll yeah. eat your jerky just not <laughs> the one in your hands. 
after his son eating your bones. But then, and then we're going to have like a, a tickle fight and like belly rubs and he's going to lick my face and it's going to be awesome. Yeah, with those, with those totally not vicious claws that just took our friend out. No, he's, he's going to totally turn around. I'm telling this you, this is, is going to work. I, this, I is, agree. This, this is how it works with real dogs in real life. If they try to attack you, you can do this and they stop. Really? Yep. That's the message we want to send out on our podcast. <laughs> I'm, this is, I've done this before. Being- during, I, got, I started to be attacked dog. by a dog and I was like, ha, ah, and I did this and they would, played with me. It's real. Tight. I quit the podcast. I feel like we need an Andrew drop in from the ceiling to be like, puzzle in a thunderstorm does not recommend that you try to feed jerky to a dog. That's a <laughs> there it was. There you go. All right. Roll a persuasion check for me. Got it. I hate. I. 27. 20. That's a natural 20 plus seven. This werewolf is yep. in on this jerky. <laughs> yes. Thank you. I- <laughs> I'm so happy. Don't encourage him. He's, with me. he's licking my face like I said. Oh. He's I, I needed he's God. I needed God to not have him roll a natural twenty. <laughs> I wanted him to fail just as much as you did. This is why we are atheists, <laughs> <Dog>. right here. <laughs> yep. You think this is the problem of evil, right here? Yeah. I, I, it is. Hey, everybody, just jumping into once again. Thank you for listening to the show. We hope you are enjoying it as much as we enjoy making it. This is the February episode. And as you probably already heard, this was recorded in December. We're back on the normal schedule now. So you'll have another one coming out in March. Speaking of exciting new developments, hey, if you hadn't heard already, we lowered the Patreon amount necessary to go to two shows a month. We move some stuff around. Morgan's going to help out with the editing, which means that it'll be more affordable for us to actually do two shows a month. And all that means is that you, yes, you listening to this can give us as little as a dollar a show and you can get two episodes a month. Isn't that cool? And we hope that happens real, real soon. If you already support the show, thank you. If you can't afford to chip in that dollar, though, hey, why not head on over to iTunes? Give us those five-star reviews I've heard so much about. They help boost the show. You can tell your friends about it. I know it's hard to sell people on the idea of listening to strangers play Dungeons & Dragons, but I think once you explain Pugapagacorns and Ass Wolves, they'll at least give episode one a try, right? I mean, that's, that's the most we can hope for. All right. I'll let you get back to the show. Thanks so much. All right. Claw, while Dave is playing jerky fun with the dog, why don't you roll your first death saving throw? (laughs) He's trying to bite my ear. He's trying to bite my ear. But like nicely. I'm going to cast Thunderwave on both of them. (laughs) Just going to leave this 27 up on the screen for as long as I can. Forever. Clearing it. 15, that's a success. That's a success. Snedrick, you are up. All right. I'm going to cast Toll of the Dead. Um, I point at one creature that I can see within range, and the sound of dolorous bells fills the air around it for a moment. The target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or take 1d8 necrotic damage. If the target is missing any of its hit points, it takes 1d12 necrotic damage. But if I'm above 3 or uh, level five, it's two D twelve necrotic damage. Yeah, that's how I feel when I hear silver bells too. Right, exactly. exactly. <laughs> this is very topical. Um, this poor dog must be so confused. <laughs> Wait, silver bells though. Silver. silver. Bells. Oh shit! Yeah, so he should have disadvantage silver at silver bells. bells. Yeah, this this should hurt more or whatever. Well, no, no, it's 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 just a, it doesn't say silver bells in the description. <laughs> but we I, said so. We right. said it. It's, <laughs> And, right, but if you guys make jokes, I can't. Get, <laughs> the jokes don't go to advantage. I silver, feel like silver, you silver. can do that, <laughs> right? Because well, we didn't go to that's a fine. place called the Ass Eaters. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> silver Age. All right, what's that? Constitution saving throw. Uh, wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw. He seems wise. I don't know. It's maybe not. That the best. is a fifteen. Yeah, that'll that'll he'll he'll. I won't do a damn thing then. Okay, so the dog is like rolling around and playing with Heath and then a bong sort of looks up for a second, goes back to playing with Heath, goes back to playing with Heath. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just about, no. don't worry. Oh, it's All right. Bread is so good. I am going to say he's distracted on this turn playing jerky with Heath. Well, because otherwise, wow. what would have Right, been otherwise, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, otherwise, what the fuck did Heath right. do? 
Right. And that's yeah. that's a question we ask a lot here on DT Minus. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> so, Bridget, you are up. All right. I'm going to try to fucking inflict wounds again. Okay. I thought you said, I'm going to try and fuck it. And I was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, guys? Wow. I quit the podcast. I don't want to do this anymore. Persuasion <laughs> check. Seduction. No, make a, if you no. try and fuck a werewolf, <laughs> that's a wisdom check, my friend. <laughs> that's an entirely different game of DD I'm playing. All right. Andrew bursts in the door with subpoenas for everybody. I hate this so <laughs> much. Ouch. <laughs> Fucking ten. I just, can I paint the picture? I wasted a third level spell slot for this. Of Claw like gasping for air as blood seeps from his body. <laughs> Dave's like, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? While Bridget just inflicts wounds on random parts of the room three turns in a row. <laughs> There's cat, cat shits everywhere. There is no God. Okay. It's a crack of thunder. Don't blame me for this, yar. <laughs> That's that pirate god? Yeah. Aye, Valkyr. Oh, right, right. You're, you met yeah, me you're... in the first dark, yar. <laughs> no, you're right. I did. It's, it's, it's been a year. Bonus action, Bridget? Uh, yeah, yeah. Who needs healing besides Claw, obviously, but I can't because he's out cold. I'm down 10 still. You're down but, 10? Yeah. Sure. Why? The, you know what? Why the fuck not? Healing word. Well, energy, a little positivity. Take six. Will do. All right, Dave, you are underneath a dog playing <laughs> jerky fun, but he seems to be losing interest. <laughs> what do you do? Can I summon Carl the Pogue Pegahorn right now? Sure. Oh, I'm so The chain sad. on your wrist glows gold and Carl the Pugga Pugga Corn appears next to you. Hey, wow. That is a, oh, I thought it was a werewolf because I'm, that is a dog? Yeah, I think it's, it's it used to be a werewolf, but it's a dog. He's playing oh, with me. Uh, so this fun. is so awkward. Yeah, well, I, uh, so I thought, you know, it's weird if I attack this little uh, cute dog, but like you're the same size and, you know, approximate type of animal. Can you attack it for us? Can he play with it? Can't Carl, like, you know, dog to dog? Actually, yeah, I don't really want to have anybody attack it. Can you uh, distract it with dog play? Can you play oh, with it? So I just appear out of the hells and yep. find you playing with another dog in a way that you've never played right. with me? I, we, uh, we play. No, what? no, you have me murdered. You have me killed. <laughs> we, uh, you fed me to a shark. A lot of the times, you set me I feel out like the, the, ass stuff of that, ass eater. the stuff that everybody hears about is the, <laughs> the dying. I attacked a, <laughs> I attacked a, a lot princess. of behind the scenes stuff that we do is just no. playing. And it's just, you know, it doesn't make it to the cut because it's not good uh, audio. But yeah, we no, play a lot. No, kinetically, I'm going to use the great improv rule of no, but. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you do not play. You only kill me. <laughs> we, play, we play all the time. You're very what good at frisbee. Thank you. Just, what am I doing? I'm distracting yes. him? You said thank you. See, that was just a, a little window into what's actually happening here. Uh, will you distract this dog for me? Yeah. Carl's going to bark at him. Is that working? Uh, I'm about to make a persuasion check to find out. Hey, woof. Woof, woof. <laughs> hey, Sounds get over successful. here, you big, you big <laughs> fucking bark. werewolf. Oh. You, fuck, you fucking fuck you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So this werewolf looks up from the jerky and sees the only thing more delicious than beef <laughs> jerky, do which is the, the floating succulent oh. morsel that is Carl the bug a <laughs> Claw, you're up. This is literally how every single fight is going to end, isn't it? <laughs> Wait, I have a question. How, how heavy is Carl? Like, what's his weight? Uh, he's an imp. So. He's like, uh, like 25 square pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I think Carl could, I think Carl could hold his own. I don't, think I feel like deep. I should use the enlarged spell to make Carl huge. <laughs> he's eight pounds. Apparently that's oh, very, that's Carl's very eight pounds. That's a so very he's small like two pug. pounds by two pounds by two pounds. Madge is 20, <laughs> Madge is 20, 20 pounds. Yeah. She's 20 pounds. So he must be so small. He's but very so small. if I cast my enlarged spell, it's multiplied by eight. <laughs> It'd be 64 <laughs> pound pug. That's fucking adorable. That's right? You'd be yeah. double his size. Little, but you gotta be, do that. You are you have another slot for that? I do have one more slot. Yes! <laughs> we are in the middle of a fight. <laughs> <laughs> Take it seriously. <laughs> All right. Claw, make a death saving throw for me. Yeah. I should have tied him up. I should. We should have gone shenanigans. 
shenanigans have been working better than actually fighting so yeah oh i'm sorry did you feel like this fight didn't have enough shenanigans <laughs> so far <laughs> for all right that's one hit one miss snedrick you are up <sighs> all right so this aura of vitality i can't use that to help out clock can i uh let me check Healing energy radiates a toast. I can take him back from the dead and heal him next time. Because the fucking inflicting wounds hasn't fucking worked. So fuck me, right? <laughs> I mean, listen, I'm not in I'm not in danger until the next turn. So Right. You could wait one more. Bridget, I feel like you're gonna inflict those wounds next time. I feel like it's just that's your due. I don't want to hear anything from you, dragon. <laughs> yeah, you can you can heal an unconscious creature. All right, I'm not going to though. Apparently, it's not a. Uh... All right, you're on the Schneid, but like you know, you're due. You are you're going to kill Carl another fucking time. This is all I ever see you do. You you summon him you and then you kill him. He's so you heard him say he likes frisbee. He's, He's so very good cute. At it. He's so sweet at the bar. And then every time you come around, you fucking send him off to some mission and he fucking dies. And then you get fucking slugs coming out of your mouth or like some shit. He gets a little bit problematic when he drinks a lot. When he, what he says, <laughs> you know what he says? Hey, I'm just saying, like, here's the thing about Irish people. Yeah, okay? no, it's like and it's so like an that. Irish guy will tell you this. An Irish and, guy and will tell you The fact that it. it's just Irish is so much less bad than when it's normal. Irish people don't exist. <laughs> what? Here's the thing about Lebanese chicks, okay? And they won't. <laughs> oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. I don't even know where Lebanon, Lebanese, where Lebanese would come from. This is a fantasy world. Fantasy Lebanon, obviously. <laughs> so, just to be clear, we're all not rooting for Carl anymore after that. <laughs> So because all the other dogs have come out to play, I feel like I should summon the ass wolves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I know that I've spent a considerable amount of time defending the amount of space in this room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say five of you guys plus Carl plus how many ass wolves show up? Three. It's going to be tight. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> roll those ass wolves for me. What, uh, what do I roll? Do I roll something? That's a uh, mark of the pack master. So you are going to roll 1d4 plus one wolves. All right. That's two wolves. Two wolves. It's a small room. It is a small room. Right. You were being respectful. <laughs> All right. Is the drunk one one of them? I'll no, let you choose. Uh, no, it's not oh. drunk now. <laughs> you got two of the good it's wolves. Been, it's All right. been a while. Canonically, we there's there is one wolf that's like super drunk. Yeah, but only if they get three. I have to get three. Right. Cool. That's fair. All right. So Snedrick, you got two wolves. They will act on your next turn. All right. The werewolf licks its chops and leaps using its legendary action and takes a giant bite at Carl. We could end up with four dogs and a falcon. <laughs> I don't know, man. He already used that one. Yep. Yep. That's a clean bite. That's a clean bite. Heath, I'm going to need you to roll uh, D10,000 for me. Man, the odds that we're going to get a falcon are, are, are 1 in 10,000. Uh, 3,947. 3,947. That feels like a, like a, it feels like a good one. Like that doesn't feel like a lie. Feels like a good year. Feels like a real random number. It ends in seven. The ending in seven makes mm -hmm. it feel That made more it help, random. right? The caster temporarily inflates like a balloon. I <laughs> this is fantastic. <laughs> this is fantastic. I love it in this five by five room. <laughs> yeah. so oh, I'm, I'm smushed all over everybody with my, my balloon. Yeah, this body. fight's yeah. over. <laughs> <laughs> I'd okay. say, if anything, I'm helping Carl with his, like, <laughs> bleeding now by pr putting pressure. Oh, no, Carl Carl's Carl gone. was gone in one chop. Did you subtract off the T4? <laughs> <laughs> uh, good question. Yeah. Wouldn't have mattered. Carl has, like, three hit points. Yeah. <laughs> Why does Carl only get three hit points? What is he? He's got no armor. It's not like he's an armored pug. He's got no armor. He's an imp. <laughs> <laughs> Can I give him armor? <laughs> yes. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. I want dog Jesus. armor next. I mean, he's got a wig, but that's it. You'd have to carry it around and put it on him as, after you summon him. He can carry it. All right. Bridget, you are up. Oh, fuck. All right. So I'm going to... You're still two death saves away, right? From dying? Yep. Okay, cool. So I don't have to actually heal you this time. You don't have anything besides bludgeoning damage, right? No, I have a couple of things. But on yeah, I'm not the one. Yeah, that... no, 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 no. 
I'm going to go ahead and try to fucking inflict wounds again. I'm really sorry I'm smushed up against you right now, Bridget, while you're trying to think of this, though. <laughs> it's like we're on a Ryan Air flight here. <laughs> Is 3,947. What are you going to do, right? Oh, fuck yes. 21. There we yes! go. 21. Nice. Yeah. That'll hit. Oh, right. 5d10. 5d10? Mm-hmm. That's 27. That's a lot right. of fucking damage. I know. Jesus. I know. All right. I feel like somehow it's magically not going to count. These Some bullshit. wounds <laughs> appear on the werewolf, just staggers back in pain. And Dave, you are up. You are a balloon floating on the ceiling. Nice. I would like to summon Shadow Spawn. Ooh, read that spell description for me. I call forth a shadowy spirit. Manifests in an unoccupied space that I see within range, which is very small. <laughs> <laughs> this corporeal form uses the shadow spirit stat block. When I cast the spell, I choose an emotion, fury, despair, or fear. The creature resembles a misshapen biped marked by the chosen emotion, which determines certain traits in its stat block. The creature disappears when it drops to zero hit points or when the spell ends. All right. What does it do? The creature is an ally to me and my companions. In combat, it shares my initiative count, but it takes its turn immediately after mine. So it goes next. Nice. Mm -hmm. It obeys my verbal commands. No action required by me for that to happen. And if I don't issue any commands, it takes the dodge action and uses its move to avoid danger. I will have an action. Also, everybody think up something that's not as dumb as what I will think up. Does it right. inflict despair or fear or no? So if, if we pick fury... The spirit has advantage on attack rolls against frightened creatures. If we pick despair, it has something called weight of sorrow. Any creature other than me that starts its turn within five feet. Yep. So that's everybody. <laughs> Everybody's, uh, th th those creatures have a speed that's reduced by 20 feet. Until the, it does also doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, it's not going to matter. Cool. But it, it has some, some actions. It can do a multi-attack. It can do a chilling rend, which is a melee weapon attack. All right. So first things first here. Let's let's clarify. Which emotion are you choosing? Fury, fear, or despair? I feel like it should be despair because he just killed Carl. But yeah, but that doesn't that doesn't help us in any way. It just it just feels thematically correct. What did Fury do? It gives the spirit advantage on attack rolls against frightened creatures. And I feel like this dog has got to be a little bit scared about what's happening right now, especially after you messed it up just now. <laughs> we did shrink him. And uh, also. It has a dreadful scream Ooh. is one of its actions. Okay. Spirit screams. Each creature within 30 feet of it must succeed on a wisdom saving throw. I don't think we want or that. Or be frightened of the spirit for one minute. Sure. So I can oh, I can be right. frightened of it. Yeah, I can be fine. frightened. Of, that means we like run away from it toward the wall. <laughs> yeah. And, and this creature won't attack you because it listens to me and it's our friend. I don't know that that means that Bridget is safe, but okay. I don't think so either. Does it do bludgeoning damage? I just want to circle back. Are we not friends, Bridget? I feel like <laughs> I, I feel like Snedrick suggested maybe we weren't friends, and then you didn't really say anything to contradict. Was that? I feel like this is not right the time to air out Bridget party drama. Can can we talk outside of this closet, please? I wish we could. <laughs> Do you know a way out? The werewolf turns to the wolves and is like, bah, 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 and the wolves are like, bah, 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 bah. she's gonna get bread next. I'm trying to tell you what. <laughs> I have one question. Can this creature do any damage that is not bludgeoning? Yeah, all of its attacks are magic damage. Cool. Thank fuck. All right, do whatever, whatever will do the most damage. All right, so Heath, what emotion are you manifesting? I'm going to go with the one that made sense there. It was uh, <laughs> right? uh, fury, yes. All right, so Heath, these dark shadows swirl out from Dave the Dragonborn, and they take the form... Of what to you, Heath Enright, most epitomizes the emotion of fury. What does this shadow spirit look like? Oh, okay. It's um, it's somebody who thinks the Fed is a Ponzi scheme and they talk about it a lot. <laughs> Slowly but surely, out of the smoke, rises a bass player who has only learned things from the <laughs> internet. I'm going to switch to anti-vaxxer, but because <laughs> it makes more sense. 
But yeah, it, also the first thing I said, it's both. It's somebody who's an anti-vaxxer and thinks the Fed is a Ponzi scheme. It's a lot of the same it's, people. It's a lot like of cross over there. that same yeah. bass player. Yeah, it's the same guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's also an anti-vaxxer now. And he, he has he has a tube of ivermectin that he's smearing on his yeah, face as we he's, speak. He's smearing the ivermectin. <laughs> oh, gross. And since that was your turn, he is up next. Nice. So he sort of looks at you like, I mean, I don't can't promise that I'm going to do what you say, but like... Uh, fucking attack. Do the attack. You have to. It's in the writing about Okay, but you. like, hear me out. Mm -hmm. Like, one no, of your opinions no, I will might not be hear that I attack. do the attack. Okay, I will fine. kill you. I, I feel like he's attacking us. <laughs> All right, he is going to attack for... By the way, this werewolf has COVID for sure right now. <laughs> we all have COVID. We're vaxxed. It's a five by five room. <laughs> well, plus this episode comes out in February, so we will all have gotten COVID by then. We're vaxxed yeah. and boosted. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So he's going to attack the werewolf. That's a 14. Yeah, that'll hit for 2d8 plus three. Nice. I'm going to say 12. 13. 13 damage. Nice. Better. Yes. Yeah, he smears some ivermectin on this wolf and the wolf starts to like... Bleh, bleh, rawr. <laughs> All right. Claw, death saving throw for me. Nice, 13. 13. All right, that's two successes, right? Yep. All right, Snedrick, you are up. All right, let's see here. All right, I just want to point out, I'm not going to do it because it's just completely useless, but I would like to point out that with the Wand of Seven Parts, I could raise a zombie Carl. Yes. <laughs> okay. His attacks are very low to begin with, so it really wouldn't be worth doing. Yeah, but, I could. But, but if he dies again, what oh, happens? Oh, yeah, right, right. He <laughs> has to roll another punishment. That might make it worth doing just right there. But would it take away his previous punishment as well or no? Oh, that's oh, is funny. He's still that's floating, isn't he? Yeah. All right. So I, I honestly, because everything else would attack everybody within a 10 foot radius or whatever, I'm going to have to do the toll of the dead again. The wisdom saving throw one with the bells and the 2d12. Do it. Nice. Do it. Yeah, I only have I can only do stuff that has touch by touch because you touch the person. That's an 11. Does that save? No. Oh, how much damage? Jesus, come on. Uh, OK, so no, it's oh, that's a nine. OK, so 10, 10, 10 damage. All right. This werewolf is looking rough. All right. Wolf attacks. Here we go. I, I assume you just want them to like straight up attack him, right? Yeah. Exactly. Okay. They're going to bite. They don't bludge him. Miss. And a hit. Nice. Am I still all ballooned up? Yeah. You're in yeah. the corner summoning a shadow bassist who has just <laughs> smeared ivermectin <laughs> along this wolf's back. The instant this fight is over, I am going to use, what's the name of the spell? I'm going to use warding wind and I'm going to blow him <laughs> right down the fucking hallway. Oh, it's going to be great. All right. Wolf attacks are up. Alpha werewolf. Bridget, he's coming for you. Ooh. What did I ever do to you? Rawr, 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 rawr. That's going to be 13, a 16, Fuck. and a 7. None of which will hit. Oh, nice. Right? Your AC is 17. Yeah, correct. Armor class is 17. Motherfucker. Yeah, he's so distracted by the ivermectin. He like, he means to go for Bridget, <laughs> but then he, he goes over to the basis and he's just like, rah, 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 <laughs> Ruining vacation, rah, rah. <laughs> Bridget, you're up. I'm gonna, you know, I'm sorry, guys. I know it's boring, but it's the one thing I can do right now. Yep. So... I'm going to inflict wounds again. Do it. And fuck this game. <laughs> <laughs> I quit the podcast. Bridget also turns and inflicts wounds on the basis. She's I can't help myself. <laughs> okay, I think we all agree with what's happening right now. All right. And also because it's a bonus action, spiritual weapon. Spiritual weapon, motherfucker. That is 11. 11 damage. All right. He, this werewolf is barely hanging on, but still desperately clawing at this shadow that Dave has created. Dave, you are up. This alpha werewolf is truly on his last legs. All four of them. <laughs> okay. My instinct was to summon a magic hand that would like distract him with petting and stuff and like belly scratches. <laughs> but I feel like you guys are going to get mad at me if I oh, do Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very mad. I won't do it. 
Well, you're dead, so I, feel like, a, I don't feel you're like you're really angry about things, and then you just all yell at me. I feel like he can still hear me. <laughs> okay. We're tighter than everybody else, so he can he can understand. Fine. Fine. I will do an Eldritch Blast. Apparently, I was wrong. Nice. Roll that attack for me. 21 to hit. That'll hit. Yeah. Fuck yeah. 10 damage. Oh. I hate when this happens. He's on his last legs, sir. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't have done 12 damage. Had to do 10. It's on his last legs. All right, he has two hit points, everybody. Oh, no, because your bassist. Now it's your bassist's turn. Oh, it's your bassist's turn. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, bassist, uh, j- attack again. We all hate you, but do it anyway. So he's going to get the win. This, this wolf that is like barely, barely conscious, the bassist turns to it and goes, you know, I think in the long run, COVID will be Nobody like cares. a really thing. interesting societal oh effect I for all so of much. us. You know, like, oh dear. I think we've all learned a lot about like how much the government wants to control us. Kill it with fire. You're the worst. And the werewolf <laughs> kills itself. The werewolf takes two points of psychic damage and collapses. <laughs> <laughs> and turns slowly back into a redheaded, now naked, young man. Is he small? Yes. Yes, he would still be small for another like six minutes. <laughs> and he's still a small, naked young yeah, he's man. Very small. I'm going to do warding wind, damn it. I, I want to blow Heath around. <laughs> yes. You want to blow a naked <laughs> redheaded child down? No, the no, I want to blow <laughs> Dave as a balloon. I, oh, I right, just, right, right. I, I, this is, when do you get this opportunity? <laughs> We should put the we should put the rope around his toe and then just oh, bring him around like yeah. a balloon. <laughs> I feel like if one of you guys like p- pokes me with a pin, I'll like <laughs> all over the place. I'll poke him. Oh, 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 me, me, me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we still have that tiny little stake. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> this is sweet. All right, somebody do it. Somebody do it. This is kind of meant to be. This was meant to be. I, uh, I'm sorry, Eli. I do have to hit him with a stake as hard as I can. Yeah, go do ahead. You, mind if I you do don't have to right do it now? hard. You can do it just kind of oh, soft. As hard it would work, as I it would work just can. as well <laughs> if you do it <laughs> softly. But you can do it as hard as Yeah. Would this count as unarmed? Okay. Uh, 14 to hit. Okay. Yeah, you just stab Dave, but he doesn't deflate. It just hurts him. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Really thought that would be I feel more like impactful. That's what we were all hoping for. Ultimately, I thought there so. would be a physical bit there at the end. <laughs> nope. You know, a visual. Let's try it again. No, it doesn't. That's what you get for summoning fucking bread while we're fighting a goddamn lack. Does anybody throat. want some of this bread? Yeah, I'll eat some. Bread. I, yeah, I'll take some. I'm gonna have some too. Can I have the baby? Yeah, you can eat the baby Jesus bread. I yeah. For it is my body. delicious. <laughs> The preceding podcast was a production of Puzzle and a Thunderstorm, LLC. Copyright 2021. All rights reserved.